Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to create an event dashboard page with Elementor. Okay, so what is event dashboard on the front end side? If you load up the event dashboard, you will find it over here. So this is possible uh, too via and shortcode as well that you can paste it on a new page and configure the power page attribute. So that's the only attribute the event dashboard expects. And you can achieve the same design as well. But what's the benefit of using Elementor? Uh, I'm gonna talk you through it. So let's create a page first and we're gonna click on edit with Elementor. And over here, if you create a new page and paste the shortcode, it will look like this depending on your template, okay? So you cannot like really design a beautiful page uh, with uh, like the default page editor, right? So for that, we have Elementor that lets us create beautiful, stunning designs with Elementor and use and drag and drop website builder, right? So this is a huge help for our non-coding uh, like users out there, or our non-coding friends. and. Elementor serves are like to a greater extent of our user base. Let it be pros, let it be users, let it be newbies. Everyone can use Elementor to create something beautiful, something stunning, okay? So we give you the ability to add our event dashboard uh, using Elementor as well, okay? So to get started, I'm gonna switch this layout full width, right? And that should hide the sidebar and all the page header and all, okay? So to get started with the event dashboard element, you can search over here as event dashboard, or you can scroll down to like WP event manager section. And over there, you will find the event dashboard, right? So you can drag it just over here. Okay. And that will show an event dashboard, like an interactive event dashboard over here in this page, right? So the um, like configurable option for the element is post per page. So we can set it to five, that will only load like five events over here, as you can see. But you can set it to like, let's say whatever value you want. Let's say if I wanna like type in one, or let's say if I, I mean, nobody would do that, but still like you can expect it to work, right? So let's type in five, that looks pretty good to me. So what else we can do? We can do a lot of things with Elementor cause it's a website builder for first of all. So we can add like custom uh, designs over here as well. So let's say if you want to add a website banner or like a promotional uh, content over here before or like the after uh, like this event dashboard, like a call out section or anything, you can do that, right? Because it's Elementor, you are allowed to do that. You can create your custom uh, designs with Elementor, right? So only benefit uh, we are talking about over here that we give you the ability to include event dashboard inside Elementor as well, inside your Elementor custom designs, right? So I have added a custom element over here. So this is not a video about how to design with element, but this is more about how to include our WP Event Manager certain properties or like, like elements inside Elementor as well, okay? So when you are done editing your website with Elementor, you can click publish and have a look at it in the front end right? It should look exactly the same as, as you see over here, right? So let's scroll down, you will find the call out section over here. I know this really doesn't look that appealing, but this is not really a designing video, okay? But designing takes like a little bit longer, but if I go ahead and do that, it would take a little bit of time and this video will get uh, like boring and all. But let's keep it short and let's keep it informative. So this is how you can create and custom page with Elementor and include even dashboard inside it. So this is not a demonstration about how to design pages with Elementor at all, okay? This is a horrible design if you like take my opinion. This is just here for the demonstration itself. I hope you get the point and don't judge my designing skill, but I promise we will have like a better demo video or like better page designs uh, later in this channel as well, okay? So until next time, I'm Shah saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.